Welcome back to uh, San Diego, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Last time you had me here, I think we went and had some delicious tacos, right? We did go out and have some delicious tacos. I didn't take you, though. I, need, I owe you. you. Never take me for tacos, <laughs> ever. Because you have a very evil brother that doesn't let you go out with me. I know. He never, he never connects us. I, I block people. I'm like, oh, they're like, so what, what are you guys doing? Like, oh, nothing. We're just, uh, just um, going to go. Probably, yeah. probably not even going to come by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we'll have to change that. So, you know, when you get off the road, which will be when? When are you off the road? Um, never. Probably for the, not for the next five years, <laughs> at least. Okay, I'll get you tacos in five years. That's a promise from me, as long as I'm still alive. And then, and then, you, won't, then you won't hit me up. You'll be like, yeah. Matt gets no tacos I'll this like, time. This is my five-year taco day. <laughs> So you were just telling me off the air, off the microphone, that you got a chance to hear the new Foster the People record, and your mind has been blown. Did you know when it's coming out? Uh, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's an, it's an extraordinary record. It's, it's, like, it's the record that they needed to make. It's, it's such a good record. So I'm, I'm stoked for them. They, they're great people. Well, your record is also pretty freaking phenomenal, too. And there's parts of it that sound like you've been indulging in Radiohead pre-weirdness. Yes? Um... I like all those things that you just said. You know, before they got turned, before they turned into an electronic band, right? Well, you know what? On this record, honestly, personally, I cut myself off from listening to music. Mostly, I listened to Christmas music this summer, which was weird. Um, mostly because that's not music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't say that. It's like some of the best melodies <laughs> ever written. Like I'll tell you, the only one that stuck in my head. Thank, 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 and it's like. <laughs> I just want to kill some no war by Lennon. Oh, that's a no. But I'm talking about the traditional stuff. That one's fine. That that one really wasn't a Christmas song, in essence. But it was an anti-Christmas song. Well, well, go ahead, tell me. So, anyways, anyways, I, I stopped listening to music because I didn't want to be so directly externally influenced. Right. So it was more or less kind of like drawing a childhood friend from memory. So we weren't directly referencing things. It wasn't like. Oh, let's get that Harrison tone here, or whatever. It was, it was more or less like, you know, nostalgic things that uh, naturally came into to play, and then also really freed us up to to allow some things to happen that maybe wouldn't have happened if we were like directly pulling from things. You know what I'm saying? Did you do the same thing? Did uh, you just turn it all off? Uh, yeah, in in a sense, the stuff that I was really influenced by was like the Nashville underground scene. And uh, there's great band, like just a handful of like super, super talented bands who, you know, I, I think at any time will be, you know, getting a lot more attention. But bands like um, Bad Cop, um, Plastic Visions, Clear Plastic Masks, Clear Plastic Masks um, Ranch Ghost. Yep, Ranch Ghost. Matt's ne Matt knows them all too. <laughs> Fly Golden but Eagle. Every time we get together, it's always like, you got to play this band, this band, this band, this band. That's one oh, thing that we love. You, you play Fly Golden Eagle. Dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's one of the... Psych Dagger. The song Psych it's Dagger. It's such a song. Dude. Is there any bad words in it? No. no. Are you sure? I'm positive. Yes. Okay, that's good. I'm glad, glad to know that. So when you're off the road, will you go back in the studio, or what's the next, what's the next plan when you're done with this tour? Hope to go back in the studio as soon as possible. We're formulating ideas. Yeah. I, actually, th this time... Is the first record that um, I, I've kind of felt like we could keep rolling into something else right off the back of this this record. And it, usually I get out of the studio and I'm like, I'm so dried up. I have nothing left. I'll never write another song. <laughs> I think a big part of that though is um, just overcoming fear-based writing. So before it was like this mad dash to project an image or to create this thing that was what we were or whatever but after this record i don't feel any obligation to portray any particular thing more you, you, you've turned it into neil young <laughs> okay <whatever. laughs> nothing wrong with that <laughs> so, so i just You're doing it for yourself right? yeah i'm i'm really excited to continue to move forward yeah i'm glad it's good to see you guys again uh and seriously when you get a chance to come down to san diego and not play a show I'll take you both out for the most amazing tacos you've ever had. In five years, I promise. I'm going to knock on your door and be like, it's taco day. Or you can just come. How about tonight? How about tonight? After we get done, let me call Mama Testa and see if we can keep them open. <laughs> what time are you off stage? I don't care about seeing. I think we're off stage at like 7, 7.30, something like that. No. I'll call, I'll, I'll call him and have him bring Eight. Food. Nine. Nine. Okay, no, we're no. off stage. <laughs> Somewhere He's, between seven and nine, we're off stage. He's on Hawaii time. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's Cage the Elephant, ladies and gentlemen.